Hello, Stephanie, how are you today? Hello, Carla. Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you today? Fine, teacher, and you? A little bit tired, but excellent. <laughs> Because yo. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because uh because uh because mommy life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Veronica, welcome. Jackie, welcome to class. Thank you. Okay. How was your week, guys? Um, your so weekend, many. sorry. How was your weekend? I go to my mother. And grandmother. I went to. I went to. I went to my mother and my grandma's house. Yes. 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 <laughs> Excellent. What about you, Katie? Kathy? Hi. Hi. It was a sad weekend because a friend died. Really? Yeah. How old he was? Um, 18. My God. Yes, he, he, what, no, he, no, he has a uh, cancer. He has cancer. cancer. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my God. What about you, Carla? How was your weekend? Me? Yes. Okay. Uh, I went to the supermarket. I, I watched a uh, TV with my son and my husband and I read. Excellent. Uh, I rest on you. Sunday all day. <laughs> Excellent. I rest you. Remember? I rest you. Uh -huh. yes, Excellent. I rest Thank you. Veronica, what did you do on weekend? Tiene el tiene muteado el. Es que la compu me está fallando. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Así pasa. Uh, my weekend is very busy, but I had to work all the Saturday and I rest all the Sunday. In my Excellent. Time. Okay. My weekend was was because we are talking about past. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's very busy. Remember? Yes, it was busy, right? You you were busy. Excellent, thank you. Let's see. Carlos, how was your weekend? Hello, good evening. Uh, my weekend oh. is very fine. I was rest and all weekend. Really? Really. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Carla de Portillo, how was your weekend? But very busy because I have to do different activities, but it's okay. We survived, right? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Daniel, how was your weekend? Daniel. 
No. Okay, Laura, how was your weekend? Hi. Uh, well, sad. Uh, what? One, uh, one of my dear friends, she passed away. Another one? Oh my God. Because I, uh, let's see, Katy's friend, Dell. Two. Oh, oh my God, sorry. Yeah. How old she was? She was young. She was three, 45. I, uh, she was 45. Um, sorry. So it was a, a sad weekend, right? Sorry. Yeah. Oh Thank God. you. Let's see, Janet, how was your weekend? Hello. Very um, stressful, but I, I bought very um, Materiales de construcción, ¿cómo sería? Let's see. Let's see. Continue. I'm going to look in for. Eh, I bought um, very eh, materiales de construcción. Every day, eh, Sunday. Oh, my God. Are you... Sorry. Sorry, let's see. Thank you, Laurita. Let's see, how are, what about Flor? Flor, how was your weekend? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my weekend was very relaxed. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Did you rest a lot? ¿Cómo? Did you rest a lot? Yes. Yes, excellent. Let's see, it says construction materials, but let's see if there is another meaning. After that, I'm going to look for it. Let's see. Jancy, welcome. How was your weekend, Jancy? It was I'm... great. It was great. Yes. I went, yes, I went to the small. <laughs> small <laughs> yeah, we, were, we went to the <laughs> supermarket, right? Yes. Yes. I understand that. What about Anna Jancy? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? How was your weekend? Very, very heavy. I working in my store. Really? You work a lot. But it's good, right? Excuse me? It's I'm good because you, you sold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Sábado, Saturday. Um, Sunday, uh, working um, 12, 12, is the night. Really? In the midnight? In the midnight. I worked fast. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you. Recordemos que cuando estamos hablando en el pasado, son reglas que las conocemos. Good morning. Estaba entrando a clases. Ok, Daniel. Thank you. Welcome to class. Recuerden, a veces nos cuesta porque las reglas las conocemos, pero al, al momento de hablar, se nos olvida que estamos tratando cosas del 
pasado. Ajá. Y el verbo tiene que ir en pasado. Ok. La cuestión. O sea, se podría decir entonces, uh, was good. O was good. Por, ejemplo, was se good? Con, uh, por ejemplo, se estaba diciendo que cómo estaba el fin de, cómo lo habían pasado el fin de semana, ¿no? Ah, yo dije it's good porque, o sea, es bueno porque ella vendió. O sea, sigue siendo bueno. Ajá. Porque no, generó no. ganancia. O sea, o, o sea, digamos, imagínese yo trabajé el fin de semana y me pagaron mil dólares. Wow, ¿a dónde trabajo? <risa> en ese caso, podría ser una respuesta como decir, was good, estuvo bueno. It was good, ajá. Ah, okay. Y está bueno, o sea, pero eso es bueno, o sea, porque a eso yo me hacía, hacía referencia, porque decía que estaba cansada. Yo le digo, pero eso es bueno. Ajá, pero se puede decir porque es la expresión que yo tomé, pero en el caso que estaba hablando de pasado, ella tuvo que haber dicho, it was good, ¿sí? Uh -huh. O sea, es, es como dependiendo en el contexto en el que estemos hablando. Usando los tiempos también, incluso es como para meterle otro vocabulario, ya no solo decir, it's fine. Uh -huh. Ajá, recuerde que cuando... Incluso podemos decir pretty well, uh -huh. que es muy bien. But pretty, en ese caso, se utiliza como más uh -huh. que bien. Ajá. Como un quantifier. Ajá. Okay. Él puede okay. ser excellent, ok. Si usted no quiere hablar mucho, it's ok. O what to say. Uh -huh. O sea, dependiendo, pero si sí se puede. Solamente eso, ok. Teacher. Ajá. Dígame. Entonces yo, yo tenía que haberle dicho, very happy, I, I was work in my store. No, acuérdese, no, acuérdese que usted me, me, va, me dijo, estamos hablando de pasado, usted trabajó. ¿Cuál es uh -huh. el verbo trabajar en inglés? Work. 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 In, work. In, in, in present is work. Work, ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y cómo es en pasado? ¿Solo agregamos? ED. 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 Pero en el sonido, ¿cómo es? Work. 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 Al final es una T. Work. Termina. Mm -hmm. Si escucha. Sí. Si escucha. El presente es work. Con work. K. Con K. Mm -hmm. Work. Mm -hmm. Y el pasado es work. Siempre se Work. escucha la K, pero al final el sonido es T. 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 Ah, es que yo dije I working. Ajá, porque si usted me dice I was working. Estuve trabajando. O sea, es, sí, pero es un, es un momento específico del pasado donde tiene que ir acompañado de qué? Del subject. De una clause. Se llaman when clause. Va, por ejemplo. Ya nos metimos en otro rollo. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, va, Daniel, va, estamos. Jancy dijo, I was working. Estuve trabajando. Estaba trabajando when. Mm. O sea, algo pasó. Ajá. Ajá. Ahí es donde This last night. ¿Qué oh, podemos decir? Podemos decir, este, Ana Jancy puede decir, I was working when. My mom arrived. ¿Sí me entiende? O sea, algo pasó en, es, en, de, en el momento de esa acción. Ahí es donde toma lógica el, el ING. Mm -hmm. ¿Sería el pasado progre? Sí. sí. Pero como si ella está hablando, ¿se acuerda de que para rutina se utiliza el simple? Bast. Eh, si estamos hablando del presente, es simple present. Si estamos hablando del pasado, simple, simple past. past. Entonces, Ana Yancy, lo único que tiene que hacer es cambiar el verbo a pasado. Entonces sería, I worked, I worked the whole weekend. Yes? Mm -hmm. Work. Si yeah. Ana Yancy dice, I was working, es pasado progresivo. Pero el pasado progresivo 
tiene que tener una when clause, porque no tiene lógica. Si yo digo, a menos que yo le, for example, ¿cómo le pudiéramos preguntar si queremos saber en un momento específico qué estaba haciendo? What did you do this last week? What did you do? What did you do the last weekend? Ajá. Pero ahí me contestaría con simple pass. Pero para hacerle una pregunta, para que ella me conteste en, en past progressive, ¿cómo sería? A ver, ¿alguien? What did you do when, to, when your mother arrived? Sí. Solo sería le falta algo. Teacher, sería cuestionarlo luego de que ella conteste con el paciente. O sea, es como decir, ella dice, yo trabajé. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Entonces, sería cuestión, en verdad tra trabajaste, y creo que ahí sí se podría, entraría el que ella pudiese responder ya utilizando. Con el ING. Ajá. Ajá. Pero ¿y si nosotros le preguntamos con ING? Sí, estaría ella a responder con el ING. ¿Cómo creen que Ajá. A ver, Carlita Alberg, ¿usted quería decir algo también? Mm, what do you do right now? Uh -huh. Pero ahí está hablando Carlita en presente. Pero qué vamos a qué vamos a hacer para, para que sea progresivo. What are you doing? You doing? You're doing. Uh -huh. I'm doing. Acuérdense uh -huh. que el ing, el verbo to be más el ing lo utilizamos ahorita en este momento. ¿Qué están haciendo continuo. ustedes en este momento? Estudiando. En clases estudiando. Ajá, entonces sería I'm studying. I am studying English. O I am taking classes. Las dos se pueden usar. Yes? I'm okay, teacher. Class. Ok. Pero mm -hmm. la, la respuesta correcta es la que dijo Laura. Laura parece que la dijo, ¿verdad? What were you doing when your mom a Arrived. Right. Ajá. Esa sería la respuesta correcta. Wow. Acuérdese, yo contesto según cómo me pregunten. Si me están preguntando simple present, yo uso simple present. Si me están preguntando con verbo to be, va, for example, how old are you? Estamos utilizando el verb to be. be. Ajá, y usted me contesta, I am, uh -huh. I am 20 years old. It's an example, ¿ok? Ya es un example. Ok. In the platform, there is a reading. Que lo vamos a, yo creo que la mayoría lo hizo ya, quiero ver. Ay, no era ahí, no era ahí, no era ahí. ¿Se acuerdan de este reading? ¿Lo logran ver? Yes. Yes, right. ¿Ya lo completaron este? Yeah. Yes. No. Yes, teacher. Ok, excellent. But let's practice. Ok, let's see. Flor, let's start reading. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, five. Lean hasta donde encuentren un punto. Punto, sí. Ok. Hay pocos puntos. Ok. Flor, let's okay. start, please. The sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful tra tra traditional dress. Excellent. Thank you. The sidewalks are crowded with Indian women. In colorful traditional dress. Thank you. Let's see, Carlos. Continue reading. Okay. Don't make this. A woman, aquí. 
A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. A new song from a Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Katie. Okay, uh, is it India, China, Romania? No, it's a story, a neighborhood in Queens, New York City. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Let's continue with Jackie. And Sorias was once a mostly gray neighborhood, but the area is changing fast. Okay, Jansi Mayen. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Daniel. The new res resident. Sorry, ¿dónde se quedaron? Aquí, number two, aquí, para iniciar el number two. Okay, eh, solo me hace un favor, le podía un poco de zoom. I'm blind. Oh, esperen, esperen, yo lo voy a hacer. Okay. Okay, es uh, the new resident bring many traditions Oops, hasta ahí. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Daniel. Ana Jansi. Ana Jansi. Excuse me, teacher. Okay. Uh, there, this tradition uh, blends together to make a story truly multicultural. When people are some, how do you say? Some royal beer. How do you say teacher are to write there? Wait. To write I got lost. <laughs> Sorry. To round. <laughs> to write. Even for the teacher. Be surrounded. When people are surrounded. Rodeada. The different cultures, they adopt this. Jim, that they like. They want resident. Thank you. Laura, continue, please. Here in Astoria, it isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortilla from Korean grocery store. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Stephanie. Okay, it's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. Thank you, Veronica. It isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Carla Albergue. Isn't surprising. It it isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. Eso le digo. Sorry. <laughs> the rents are re reasonable. How do you say? Reasonable. Reasonable. Okay. The rents are reasonable. The neighborhood is safe mm -hmm. and it has very good public mm -hmm. trans transportation. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Carla de Portillo. There are an expense store. Um, very nice restaurant and with fresh fruit and vegetable market. Okay, thank you. Let's see. No los logro ver. Let's see, pero ya me los puedo casi todo. A ver si. Let's see, Stephanie. Flor. Yes. 
<laughs> Continue reading. Uh, oopsie. Uh, ¿Dónde se quedaron? <laughs> there, there are. There are inexpe inexpensive store. I know very. Stores many. Many, mm -hmm. many nice ra restaurants and good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. A vegetable market. Thank you, Angelica. Andy? In Historia is a comfortable place to lay apartments are usually bit and roomy. Okay, thank you. Let's see, let's see. Mateo, please. Finish the reading. As one long time resident say, says, why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. It all. Thank you. Okay, guys. Okay. Read and look for them. Let's see. ¿En qué tiempo están hablando? Present, past. Present. In present. In present. Okay. Are they using simple present and verb to be? Uh huh. Present. Here we have a verb to be sentence. Yes. Here is it India, China, Romania? Verb to be right. Finlandia. Yes, and simple present, yes or no? Yes. Okay. Guys, tell me the difference between verb to be and simple present. Simple present, you use all the verb, less uh, <laughs> and and is are and is where to be is are and is mm -hmm. okay as Yancy says okay okay we use is and are for where to be okay and for simple present we use the base form verb yes we use Ver to be, ser o estar. Simple present when we talk about daily routine, habits, and hobbies. Yes, that's it. Guys, what about quantifiers? Let's see. Today, let's talk about little, a little, few, and a few. Those are quantifier. That mean, what those mean? Poquito, un poco. Un poquito, poco, some, okay. yes. Little and few have negative? Meaning, we use them to mean no, not as much as maybe expected or wished for. For example, she had few moments on her own. Yes or no, girls? <laughs> yes. She had few moments on her own. That means poco tiempo para ella. Yes. Para ella, right? That's a negative meaning. Okay. Tiene un, un significado negativo, okay? Tell me another example. Yeah. 
she has she has uh, in past she has no, no in present she has, okay. she has a few minutes for to be to do a quiz <laughs> she has few minutes to do the quiz yes excellent it's negative right because maybe she she lost the quiz. Yes. <laughs> Maybe she lost the quiz. Or the she quiz. loses. She loses. Or loses. Or loses. Loses. <laughs> okay, thank you. What about the other example? She saves a little money every month. <laughs> Guys, uh, can you say money? Money. Yes. Yes, I say, but then I, I bow, I broke, I buy something. <laughs> <laughs> just to just to buy something, right? Yes. It's a little bit hard to save money. Yes. Yes. That's a negative statement, right? She saves a little money every month. Yes. The other example they had a little money too. Spend okay. Have you got any money? Any money? Yes, a little. We use okay. The, okay, the, the, the other example mm -hmm. says, I have no, you no, got no. any money? Not very little. Okay, a little, a few with a now, remember, ¿qué es lo que modifica un quantifier? Uh -huh. ¿Qué es lo que modifica un quantifier? A proposition. Yes or no? No. It modifies the noun. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember, we are talking about what? For example, here, we are talking about little, little what? Money. money. Little money, yes, it modifies nouns. We use a little with singular uncountable nouns. Listen. We use a little with singular uncountable nouns. Acordémonos que este article A solo se utiliza en uno. uno. Cuando hay uno in singular. Yes. So we use a little for singular uncountable nouns. We use a few with plural no. countable nouns. Okay. Miss, what, what is the difference a few and few? Ya lo vamos a ver. Okay. Abajito está. <laughs> paciencia, mi querida Yancy, paciencia. Mary said nothing. But she drank some tea and ate a little bread. Excellent. We stayed a few days. In Florence, we visited the musicians. Yes. What about, what about little, few, with nouns? We use little with with uncountable. with uncountable nouns, but with plural, plural, plural uncountable, countable, countable nouns. No. Si se fijan, ¿qué es lo que pasó aquí? Um, for singular, no. 
Uncountable is a milk. You, you need to use little. Mm -hmm. But so then let's you... read. Jansi. Okay. I am very happy. Okay. I, I am very happy with you. <laughs> I'm very happy I, about it. Uh huh. I'm not very happy. This I am sure. not very, very happy. But I suppose I have little choice. <laughs> no sé. No, o sea, no tiene opción, verdad? Mucha opción. Está sí. con la jefa o el jefe y tiene que. <laughs> 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 si son jefes aquí, me perdonan. Hoy <laughs> solo un bro, un chistecito nada más. <laughs> Okay, few cities anywhere in Europe can match the cultural richness of Berlin. What about little, few without a noun? Dijimos de que modificaban el que? No. El no. nombre. Uh -huh. no. So we can use a little and a few as pronouns. ¿Y cuáles son los pronouns? Ajá. ¿Cuáles son los pronouns? He, she, it, we, they, you. <laughs> you. Ajá. Esos son los pronombres. Acuérdense que los nouns, ¿qué son los nouns? Los nombres, ¿verdad? En este sea. caso, los pronouns son lo que lo sustituyen, ¿ok? Ya no digo Jansi, sino que digo she. she. Ok. We can use a little or few as a pronoun. We can use them to substitute for a noun when it is obvious from the context, ¿ok? Si usted no va a utilizar algo, ¿se recuerdan que hablábamos la vez pasada de que dependía del contexto? ¿Verdad que sí? Todo depende del contexto en que lo digamos. Ok, si sí, yo ya sé, por ejemplo... Estábamos hablando del azúcar, ¿se acuerdan de ese ejemplo? Ya no de decíamos cuánto azúcar quiere, sino que how much Ajá. do you want? How much do you want? For example, eh, do you want coffee? Yes. How much do you want? Okay. Little or Much. Yes. Si ¿Sí vamos entendiendo eso, ¿sí? ¿O no? Okay. After that, she began to tell them a little about her life. A little about what? Her life. In Scotland, particularly her life with the Rose and rose blooms, okay? Don't take all the strawberries, just have a few. We are talking about what here? Strawberries. We are talking about strawberries, yes. Little and few are not very common without a noun. So, lo más común es utilizarlos antes de un nombre, no. ¿ok? Before a noun. We use an informal context. Little is known about his upbringing and education. O sea, ¿qué es? Estos se utilizan de qué forma? Es una manera formal de expresarse. ¿Ok? Quizás esto lo, solo es general, pero no, porque si no nos vamos a confundir demasiado, ¿ok? Pero esto se los bajé yo y se los, se los voy a dar para conocimiento general, ¿ok? 
porque si no, nos vamos a hacer bolitas. Ok, I have some exercise for you. Ok, number one, Verónica. We are going to be late. There is too, no, there is too much traffic. Yeah, the number of people driving is incredible. I, I've never seen this, this many cars. The amount or the number of people? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You say number, right? Yeah. Number of people, right? I never seen this. Many cars. Many cars. Yes, guys. Can we count traffic? No, right? What about a uh, people? Can we count amount or number? I think it's amount. Amount. What is the meaning of amount? Amount. Como muchos. Yeah, right. Muchos, right? Aha. Uh -huh. So. The amount of people driving is incredible. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Amount or? Han escrito el grupo, ¿no? Ah, oh, no, pero eso es. Ajá. The amount of people driving is incredible. Ajá. What do you think, guys? Amount. I, I think it's amount. Because amount, amount, right? It's amount. Because amount, amount is plural. Okay, amount. thank you. Let's see number two. Carlita Alberghe. Can you bring soda to the picnic? I don't have any. Yeah, I think I got uh, some left over from the party. I got some left over from the party. <laughs> okay. I got some, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> Angelica, Angie. Mm -hmm. Angélica, no sé lo que me sé. ¿Y cómo me va a contestar Angélica si, si no hay ninguna Angélica? Te acaba de desconectar. Me tienen, en serio, estaba pensando en Jacqueline y no sé por qué me salió Angélica. Jackie, please. Angélica, si oh, tenemos pues... una Angélica, ustedes me dicen. <ríe> Angélica. No, Se acaba de desconectar. Ajá, sí. Angélica, por Dios santo. No me haga eso porque ya no la vi. Yo dije, no tenemos ninguna Angélica conectada. <risa> Angélica, hello. How do you feel about the new okay. dog? Mm -hmm. Do you have as many responsibilities as you use it to? Thank you. How do you feel about your new job? Do you have mm -hmm. us? Uh, uh, much. Or many responsibilities? Much. 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 Many. Mm -hmm. many is in negative. Yes. It's so? Much. much. Many. ¿Quién da más? <risas> Meni está contando uh -huh. cuántas responsabilidades tiene. Puede contabilizarla. Yes, because it's in. It's many. It's in what? In plural, right? Plural. Mm. 
Pero se pueden contabilizar las responsabilidades. Does that yeah. question? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Ajá. ¿Cómo? ¿Cuántas responsabilidades puede uno tener en el trabajo, en el día, en los quehaceres? Uno puede decir, por ejemplo, en casa puede decir, ah, tengo que lavar traste, barrer, está contando cuántas, Ay, tiene tres. Ah, Jabalís. Jabalís. <risa> 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 Ajá, ¿quién, quién, quién quiere? ¿Quién? Contable o non contable? No contable. No contable. Debatible. Contable. No. No. Piénsenlo y me dicen. Tarea. Much is singular, many is. For plural. Mm -hmm. Much is uncountable in many. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Homework. It's many. Está hablando en plural. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y much, porque es uncountable, me van a decir los demás. Uh -huh. okay. For me, it's much. <laughs> and no many. Homework. Ok, number four, Daniel. Que lo estoy escuchando, que está participando. Así que, Daniel. Ya me quebró. No, claro que no. Ajá. Uh, the job is great. I have about the same. Uh -huh. Number of work to do as before. But I have. There's a fewer, fewer stress and oh no. Déjeme analizarlo, espera. The job is great. I have about the same number of work to do as before, but I have less stress and uh, fewer problems. Así, ¿verdad? Yes? Right. Guys, what do you think? Uh -huh. I think I have about the same amount of work. Uh -huh. Amount. You say it's amount, amount of work. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Amount. Amount. Yes. Amount. 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 Mm, stress and fewer problems. Amor, right. yes. Okay. What about Laura, number five? How do you think you did on the test? I think I did a little better than last time. Maybe even a lot better. Maybe even. A lot, a lot better. A lot better. The uh -huh, guys? Yes. Yes, right. What about number six, Mateo? What about you? Well, I think I probably made a few mistakes. Uh -huh. No, no, can you A few mistakes, yes? A few mistakes, but I have the feeling I did well overall. Thank you. Over. Let's see, Janet, the number seven, please. 
The poll say that there's a little support nationwide mm -hmm. for your military program. Is it that's going to to hurt to hurt you? Mm -hmm. Not in the long run, no. A few of the border actually. Mm -hmm. So. The polls, the polls, the encuesta says that there is a, a little support, yes? For your military program. Isn't that going to support you? Not in the long run, no? Uh huh. Okay. Yes, a few, right? Okay. Thank you. Let's see, guys. We have some minutes. Okay. One by one, tell me a sentence using little, a little, a few, whatever, okay? Whatever you want, okay? Whatever you prefer. Okay. Let's start with Carlita. La Car... es que Carlita siempre me aparece usted, no sé Ay, me voy a esconder empezamos de abajo empecemos my, de grandmother, abajo. my grandmother my um, grandmother sleep eh, a little last night no sí. ¿qué le pasó al verbo? Ahí está. sleep 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 es, es el irregular. Es el I. Ajá. Slept. Dígalo otra vez. My grandmother slept eh, a little last night. Excellent. Thank you. Dancy, Mayen. I have a, a few vegetables in the refrigerator. Re Refrigerator. Or the fridge, my friends. <laughs> okay, otra vez. I have a I have a few vegetables in the fridge. Uh -huh. Thank you, Veronica. My son came to my house for a few minutes. Uh -huh. I came from my work. My no, my house. Uh -huh. My son, my son came from my house for a few minutes. Ah, okay, thank you. Excellent, thank you, Veronica and Yancy. Good teacher. Mm -hmm. Tell me the example. Um, I'm sorry, teacher. No, no, no he entendido mucho. Okay, Ana Yancy, don't worry about it, okay? Recuerde de que estamos hablando de quantifier, siempre es cuestión de, de cuánto es algo. O sea, por ejemplo, eh, Verónica decía, hablaba de minutos. Ajá, hablaba de, sí, pero en ese caso se refería a la cantidad de de minutos de tiempo entonces estamos hablando de eso eh, Carla albergue decía el qué que su abuela había dormido un poco poco muy poco uh -huh. cuando está modificando cuando dijo que había sido ayer ok ayer noche y Jancy que dijo que tiene poco vegetales en la Refrigeradora, ¿sí? Refrigeradora. Estamos hablando de la cantidad de cosas. Así como okay. hay mucho, hay poco. ¿Se recuerda? Que utilizamos much and many. Entonces, eso es para hablar en cantidades grandes. Lo contrario a much and many mm -hmm. es few and little. A eso okay. se refiere, ¿ok? El few, few es... Para Program. contables, y hey, para contables, y el libro okay. es para 
uncountable. O sea que lo contrario de much es little. little. Y lo contrario de many es few. Ajá. Eso es todo, Ana Yancy, ¿ok? Ok. Uh -huh. um, Entonces, I, hagamos una. I few. I few sugar. Uh, coffee. Ok, entonces decimos I add, I add a little sugar to my coffee. Porque acuérdese que sugar is uncountable. Ok, thank okay. you. Entonces repítamelo. I add, I, I, I add a little. A little sugar. Coffee. To my coffee. coffee. Ya ve que sí puede. Thank you. Excellent. Claudia. Claudia, welcome. Hi. Hi. Um, como tenía dos clases donde no pude entrar porque no me servía la laptop, la verdad es que he estado un poco perdida, pero prometo que en la próxima sí me voy a poner al día ya porque ya funcionó. Ahora me la dieron. Eh, sí, no la habíamos visto. Gracias a Dios que ya está aquí con nosotros. Thank you. Pero no se preocupe, póngase al día. Igual ahí están los videos en YouTube. Lo puede ver. Puede ver la plataforma y ponerse al día. Ya para mañana ya está con todo, ¿ok? Sí. Thank you. Florcita. Eh, uh, podemos decir uh, I have a few eggs in the kitchen. I have a few eggs in the kitchen. Yes, of course. Okay. Remember, eggs are countable, right? Excellent, Stephanie. Um, okay. I read fewer books this year. Sí se puede, ¿ok? Pero en ese caso, como es algo que inició en el pasado y sigue ocurriendo, se utiliza otro tiempo, ¿sí? Se utiliza el... ¿Sabe cuál se utiliza? Uh, no. Perfect. The perfect tense. Ah, uh, ok. Entonces ahí es como... Mejor no. Mejor no, mejor digamos. Another topic. Ajá, mejor no, ajá, mejor no. Sino que podemos decir. I. I read. I a read. few books. In this month. Ajá, puede, o puede decir, o puede decir. I read. I read. A few books. In a year. Sí. En un okay. año, o sea, ya está poniendo que es una actividad que pasa en cualquier año, pero no este año, ¿sí? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Let's see, Jackie. No sé si puedo decir. I have a song with fear love. I have a song. With feel love. Yo tengo. Dígamela en español. Yo tengo un hijo con mucho amor. Tan linda. Eso sí se puede decir, pero ese, o sea, se escucha muy, mucho español. ¿Cómo, ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir usted? Que mi hijo tiene mucho amor, algo así. Entonces, ¿cómo podemos decir? Podría ser que My su hijo amoroso. Full of love. Ajá, sí podemos decir, pero en ese caso, porque too much lovely, entonces utilizaríamos much, porque como, o sea, no, no, no cabe, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos que hacer algo negativo, ¿se acuerdan de que esos son negativos? My son is full of love. ¿Cómo? My son is full of love. My son is full, full of love. Entonces ahí sería algo positivo. Y acordémonos que el little and few son cosas 
negativos, que solo se tiene un poco, sí. ¿verdad? A ver, otra, Jackie. I have a few, a few beans. I have a few beans. Dreams de sueños. Beans. Beans. Ya está Polis. sorda la teacher. Ay, disculpen. <laughs> yes. Ok, excellent. Thank you, Carlitos. Ok. Um, today I, I had a few minutes to study English because I had a lot of work. Excellent. Thank you. Carla Deportillo. I have a little money in my wallet. Me too. <laughs> Thank you. Daniel. Um, we are a few, we are a few days away from the announcement of La Nueva Milagrosa. <laughs> okay. Just <on> la nostalgia. <laughs> ah, yes, of course, right? <laughs> También almacenes Europa, creo que es el otro, ¿verdad? Janet. I watch a little TV on week. I watch a little TV on weekend. Weekend, yes. Laurita. I asked my husband to buy some fruits in the market because we have any for the excursion. <laughs> How do you for say For the trip. Say? Let's say for, for the, the trip. trip. Yes. Damos vuelta. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, si esa la he escuchado también. <laughs> Porque creo que me la puedo. Mateo. I'm gonna go to sleep in a few minutes. Congratulations. Because I can't. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. I need a little more money. I need a little more money. More money. Me too. <risa> ok. Yo creo que no me quedó nadie fuera, ¿verdad? Todos leímos. Stephanie. Stephanie me falta. Ya. Ya estuvo, Stephanie. Ah, ok. Yes. Ok. Thank you, guys. Remember, homework for tomorrow. We have a... Sentence, responsibilities or responsibility, countable or uncountable, many or much, little or a few. Remember, hunger for tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Take care. God bless you. See ya tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night